It is bright. It will not feel like we're walking on the sun. No, but it's we have bright. the sun at least. And things are slowly warming up and the yeah. sun certainly helps things grow. I've seen some green things yes. coming out of my garden. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> so gardening season is going to be here, you guys. Eventually, Garden Guy Dale Kay has a look at some of the seeds that we can plant now so we're ready to go. I know a lot of people, Dale, it, it, they just want to get started. So this is where we can start. Everybody is just itching. I'm so fortunate to be in the shade too. It's, <laughs> it's actually quite... It's actually, you're just talking about the sun and I was over there in the sun and now I'm in the shade. Uh, this garden, of course, gets afternoon sun and that's vitally important, even though it is a wee little bit chilly. Freezing temperatures still, but I think looking at the forecast and really just even looking at the calendar, uh, I think towards the end of the week into next week, even though there's some rain in the forecast, you can plant some early spring veggies. And like you mentioned, people are just itching. I'm itching to start some gardening. So here's what you can plant right now. So let's take a look at some of those uh, things. Asparagus roots, these are actually little asparagus roots. They're, that's the crown there, these are the roots. You could plant asparagus right now, that's a great one. Uh, any of your onions, these are little transplants, they would be good to go. Any of your cool season crops, this is actually kohlrabi and it's actually a little bit still tender from being in a greenhouse, but uh, once planted the soil will be a little bit warmer. But any of your cool season crops would be nice. Uh, broccoli, uh, cabbage, any of those guys, quite nice as well. And then you mentioned seeds. Any of your uh, leafy greens, like what do I got here? I got lettuce, a couple of different types of lettuce blends. And of course, plant what you like to eat. You don't have to plant all these things, but definitely plant what your family likes to eat. I got a whole bunch of different lettuces. I like romaine. Spinach is a good one to very cool season. And then radishes, quite nice as well. And this one is actually quite sweet as well. It's the French breakfast radish. So if you like a sweeter radish, that's a good one to plant. Now, I also have an advantage here where I've got a raised bed, and this is where I do my early and late veggie gardening because the soil will actually warm up a lot quicker in this space than in the ground. And I pay attention, of course, to soil temperature. And there is a, was actually a little bit of a crust on the uh, frozen crust on this bed uh, when I started. So what I'm going to do this morning is actually plant some spuds or potatoes, and they're easy to do. And you can do them even in a container just like this one. You don't need a, this is almost like a kid's swimming pool. It's a big plastic uh, tree pot but you could even do a little bit smaller container as well. So, and then, then you find your uh, potatoes, you see potatoes at your favorite local garden shop. There they are right there. I avoid um, buying them in packages like this. I like to actually be able to see them. This is from the grocery store. That's your russet potato. Now the thing with grocery, even though you could really actually you can't plant these and here's the reason. These are, have always been treated with a growth retardant so you don't get the sprouts because as soon as the potato starts to sprout, then it's essentially no good. So these will actually be treated so they don't sprout. So that's why you don't plant what you can get at the grocery store. That's why it's important to go to your garden shop. That way you'll get them to grow. And that's, of course, essentially really important. So I've got my seed potatoes here. I will just move this out of the way for you, Chip, so you can come in. Come on in. So basically what I'm going to do, you can see the eyes that started there. I'm actually going to carve them. I could halve them or I could quarter them. As long as I've got an eye right there, that's where the growth will sprout from. And once you've quartered them, you can leave them actually on the kitchen counter for even, this has been, these have been out for a few hours, but even a couple of days until this uh, open wound actually calluses over a little bit. And you can see there's some callousing that's just started to occur right here. There's the sprout. So leave these on the counter for a day or two. And then I think the weather, actually in a day or two, the forecast looks so much, oh, my nose is running. See, it's cold, it's cold out, I'm sorry. If that upsets your brekkie, I'm quite, I'm quite sorry, my, it's so cold, my nose is running. Um, the weather will be a little bit warmer. So from there, it's quite easy to plant. I'll just bring these over. I'm just gonna lay these sprouts up, just like that move that out of the way and I'm actually going to fill it in this whole area. Now here's the fun part with potatoes, it's almost like the ultimate game of hide and seek. So I've got my ruler here and when I'm just going to put a little bit of potting soil over the top of these and I can just do that right now, we'll just cover these up a little bit. There we go, we just give them a little covering and then once those sprouts get up to about eight inches tall, where's the eight? They're right about there. I'm actually going to recover all the stems with potting soil one more time so it'll 
the, it'll actually be almost up to here, and that way all the all the um, the callusing off the stems will produce an abundance of potatoes. And this is actually a really good thing to do with the kids. It's really the ultimate game of hide and seek. I've, do you, I've actually used a variety called Superior. It's a shorter growing. It's about 100 or 90 days to about 100 days to harvest. So towards the end of, end of July, these will be ready to go. A little bit of fertilizer, some plant steaks. Bob's your uncle. You got your bed. You got your veggies. You can start those things. Don't start your tomatoes. You can start these things right now. Back to you. Okay. Good little checklist. Now go get in the sun, Dale. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and I'll stop running.